15 seconds. In today's video we're going to look at my tactician build as it sits today. Four, four piece tack, savage gloves, and a specialized backpack. Uh, I'm going over the major, uh, the primary stats there. My primary DPS is 214,000. It's low obviously for because of its skill build. And I'm using the historian here. You could use the hungry hog or something that has skill talents rolled on it. but. My toughness is at 328, which is pretty solid for uh, for a skill build, and my skill power is at is at 292. Now, when I get my full attack bonus, that jumps up to about 370, which I'll put an image on screen and uh, and show you that still shot of uh, full attack bonus on there. The chest piece has the major attribute is health, like always, uh, and skill haste. This one is rolled for stamina. My mask. <coughs> Oops, my mask is rolled for electronics with skill power as the major attribute. My knee pads rolled for skill power, major attribute is health, decent rolls on them all so far. My holster is decent, could could have a little better holster, I like the armor roll on it, um, the firearms roll is kind of shitty, and uh, I would actually like that major attribute to be health, but I had to get the skill power up on there a little bit higher. <clears throat> My savage gloves are rolled for electronics. It's um, got shotgun damage. That should I actually should roll that to uh, SMG damage, obviously, because SMG is what I'm primarily using. Uh, I didn't get around to that, but and my specialized backpack major attribute is uh, health, which isn't the best roll on health, but I needed to roll it to electronics. So that is my tactician build as it sits. My SMG, let's go over to let's go over to survivability for a second here. My armor mitigation is 33.9, which is pretty solid. Um, granted, if you get into an encounter with multiple let's say you're playing solo and you get into more than two people it's gonna be hard to take three or more down for sure um, <clears throat> health obviously we don't have a ton of health but like I said 328 328,000 toughness with the skill build is pretty solid this skill haste <clears throat> I usually have that a bit higher I usually have that right around 30 32 um, being with this build that uh, that I made for this video I wanted to get the armor mitigation as high as possible for sustainability reasons let's go over to the skills in this particular setup I am using recovery link I am using a turret um, with the active sensor it does 84 8400 per hit which it rips NPCs apart and no agent is going to stand there and fight you around the turret. So wherever you plan on fighting, uh, put it at a vantage point, maybe up on a car or something like that. Or, but keep it close to you and you keep around that turret because your gun's not doing a lot of damage. But your gun and that turret combined do a shit ton of damage. <clears throat> I'm using the sticky bomb uh, just to, um, if I come up on a group of rogues, I can hurt them really really bad if I have a full tack bonuses um, usually one's gonna go down at least um, it will take out complete hordes of NPCs so if you're just farming that that's fine too if I'm not running the if I'm not running the sticky I usually run an immune station you can switch that up and go with uh, um, with life support too if you're trying to farm solo or whatever but for for farming this is this is really good um, for group play this is really good uh, like I said, single player is a, a little bit harder, um, but obviously it can be done as you're going to see or you already saw in the clips before this video. So yeah, that's my tactician build as it sits. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button. Sub if you haven't. Stay tuned for more build videos. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to put together a Banshee video. 
um, even though Banshee has kind of disappeared. Um, I think uh, I think I can make a pretty strong rogue hunting build out of that. And uh, my Firecrest, I still got to bring my Firecrest build. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel, guys. Thank you for all the new subs. Thank you for all the love and support, guys. And uh, hopefully that continues to come. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video, guys. Thanks for watching.